Hi, I am Mrs. Belmus, and I teach pre-K here at Shepherd Lakes. And since it's St. Patrick's Day, I decided to share one of our favorite books um, called The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. Was the night before St. Patrick's the day to wear green? Not a creature was stirring except him and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend was told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. And this is one of our favorite pages because you can see all the different kinds of traps that they made. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of gold coins danced in their heads. And my kids love that the dog is also having dreams of a golden bone. Happy St. Patty's said dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear what a terrible mess. A leprechaun had been there. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish as quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling, a real live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny, his hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy size clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year.